Hey guys! Hey, can we go get coffee? No. We're in a little U haul. Leaving it Saturday. I'm just gonna film, 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 film today. Whoa, whoa. Because I'm taking the day off tomorrow. So if I don't get enough footage today, no video tomorrow because we've been freaking posting every day, haven't we? We have. That takes a. Do y'all know what it takes to come up with an idea every day, edit it, post it? It takes literally hours of the day. But we love it. We love doing it. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, hey, give a brother a thumbs up and like check the subscribe. All right, y'all, so here's the dang deal. We are in the U-Haul. We have to go pick up the rest of that unit. There's not really a ton in there. It's just messy, so it looks like a lot. So we've got boxes and tubs in the back. Some. Something like that. Well, there's a bunch of boxes there, so we're just going to go there real quick. The goal today is just to get it in the truck. We're going to pop up the auction on Monday. I've got a lot of the garage clean. Things are looking good for the auction Monday night. It's only going to be like a three-day run time. What? There's a package a big one? No, it's not that big. Oh. There is a package. Y'all, my silver and gold melting uh, furnace, electric furnace, comes in the mail today. So we might be melting silver this weekend. Yeah. So, hey, there's that. So, hey, check it out. Uh, all right, guys, so we're going to pop over there. But, hey, on the way there, I want to go by, um, can we go by Goodwill? Oh. The one on the way. It's the one on the way, right off Midway. What for? I don't know, y'all. I've got like the bug. Something's telling me I might find something if I hunt today. Hey, we still have boxes over there that we couldn't get to that were tucked away. So stay tuned in this video because we're going to do the rest of the unboxing from that unit. We're going to do some thrifting. We're going to get coffee. I don't care about that. And oh, we might melt some silver in this video. Y'all, I'm so pumped. I'm telling you. I, I'm going to make custom sterling silver action figures. Like hand paint, I'm telling you, they're gonna be the bomb.com. Y'all get ready. I'm not starting a new channel for that. Y'all are just gonna have to watch the videos. One channel's enough. Y'all, I like that. I'm getting that. It's broken though. Uh. Like.
All right, this is 1988. Two bucks, Mario, we're getting it for sure. All right, so show them the bottom of for us. Hey, is that all there is? Show them the prices. Scroll. Scroll. Yeah, yeah, the purse is up top. Go up back up. Those are more the style, or some of those were. Yeah, some of those ones okay. are so that I got one $270. Uh, I guess we got three pieces. Mm -hmm. Hey guys! Y'all, that I hate what masks do. I'm so over the mask thing. Alright guys, real quick, we're gonna head to another thrift store in Louisville. I really don't think I've ever gone to thrift stores in Louisville. I just don't ever go out there. And I have a wild hair at my butt. And I want to dumpster dive Chuck E. Cheese. That's it. I just saw a news article. I was like, man, they're going bankrupt. They're trying to write off like 19 million and or 1 billion in like tickets and stuff. And so, anyway, I don't know. I just want to go see if they're, like, tossing out little uh, cheap toys they overcharge uh, you for in there. But anyway, <laughs> hey, real quick, let's get to it. So, look, 1988 Mario, y'all. Look, his little suspenders tore. But good thing is, look, it goes past his belt. So, I guarantee I can tuck that in there. And I'll put a little drop of super glue. It'll hold. So, look, 1988 Mario. All right, guys, up next real quick. Y'all, I found some cool T-shirts. Uh, they kind of gone to all one price, three bucks mm -hmm. for their t-shirts. I like that, okay? Uh, it's a little bit more expensive than I like, but look, like this is one. really cool. <laughs> uh, treat or Treat, it is a Sesame Street brand. Uh, that's going to go on the Macari. Uh, this one is really cool. I told Gina, like, I either need to get uh, more comfortable with my body or uh, I wish this would have been a large yeah, because, y'all, cool. look at that. McAllister Home Security, 1990, but y'all, it's like... It's like new. It doesn't even look like it's been washed. Yeah, it looks brand new. It, it looks like brand new, y'all. It actually smells brand new. So that's going to go on the Macari 2. Uh, up next, I, I usually don't get t-shirts here, but they had good t-shirts. Yeah, they did they? this time. Uh, this one will be going up on Macari. Yes, these are open to you members. Uh, I told y'all I was going to find you some really cool stuff to pick from. I'm sorry I've been slacking on that, y'all. Like I feel like my life is just like finally calming down after the fire, the Rona. Man, good lord, everything. So anyway, hey, <laughs> it's coming together, y'all. Life's coming together. Uh, but hey, I get, I, you know what? No matter what, people are like, how do you keep positive attitude? Jesus, y'all, that's all I can tell you is Jesus. Like, I don't know. If you have a head knowledge of it, you, you can't get it. it it's got to be a thing that you like. It's like in your heart. Like, you just know it. So like, I know I'm always going to be okay, even if I'm under a bridge. Um, so anyway, hey man, there's your sermon for the day, guys. Hey man, you, what if I preached like that? I should have preached like that. Probably would have been more popular. <laughs> Dang it. All right, so hey, check it out. That is a size large. That's pretty cool. Uh, we bought this. It was up at the counter. Yeah, it's a I like this It's one. a Stranger uh, Thing t-shirt. Oh, it's new with tags. Yeah, it's new with tags. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, Y'all, I found me some shorts. I don't ever wear shorts. Y'all want to know the story? You want to know a real story that you don't even know? Oh, sure. Y'all want, y'all, okay, look, I'm opening up. I'm telling you, I'm about to be vulnerable right now. Y'all, I'm for real. This is a secret I've never told anyone. You think I'm joking? No, I'm not. I, I promise to the good Lord above, and I wouldn't do that. Y'all know, like, I don't ever wear shorts, do I? No, you don't. You've probably seen me wear shorts, like, you could probably count on two hands in eight years, couldn't you? Yeah, you don't really pretty wear close, shorts. right? I don't I don't ever wear shorts. Y'all wanna know what? I was scrolling Facebook the other day, y'all, and I got all my old friends from uh, high school in there and I was like, Man, I remember the moment, I'm not joking, that I stopped wearing shorts. And it was because of a comment that a chick made to me in high school. Oh really? Yeah, it was at the after school dance party at her house. I I'm not gonna put her on blast because then she might feel bad that I've been wearing pants for like 30 years after this one comment because she made me insecure. <laughs> I'm not playing. Y'all never told anybody. I know her name. Like, I was like, I remember that comment. Dude, it hurt me. I went in the bathroom. I had been drinking that night, too. Uh, she probably had been, too, but she, and that's why she was so honest. But, y'all, she said, she, she said, you know, you're really deformed. She said, your legs are way too small for your body. That's exactly what Aww, she said. I'm not playing. That's so mean. I was 17 years old, and I have very rarely worn shorts. If y'all don't know, I'm a very insecure person. I'm very, very insecure about myself. And so, literally, like, I've worn pants 
this whole time. Over 20 years. 22 years because of a comment that you made. I'm joking. I forgive you. It's all right. But y'all, I've been, I sweated my butt off because you made that comment to me <laughs> like years ago and I just figured it. But y'all, so I bought shorts, y'all. I'm trying to break out of my thing. But my next insecurity is these bags under my eyes. Oh, yeah. I notice bags come and go. Did you know they come and go? Oh, they do? They do. Like, I notice when I get sleep and stuff, there's no bags if I'm not stressed. Uh -huh. Y'all, if this insurance thing would go ahead and finish, that would cap off the rest of the, the goodness that God has poured upon us if we could just get that over. So be praying praying for that. I know Lunkers is almost done. Um, it's gone through the third party, everything. He's actually very happy with the money he's going to get paid. Uh, but anyway, so check it out. I bought shorts, y'all. Y'all, look. They're my size. So, for real, like, I'm going to wear shorts. <laughs> High five. High five. I'm not going to let that comment bother. She says you're deformed. All right, y'all, check this out. Rudy is a hobbit. Y'all seen Rudy? That's a cool t-shirt. That is so cool. Another one I wish was uh, a larger size, but it's not. It's actually a small. Uh, okay, so I found this. It's a tiki barber. Okay. Little, not not a lot of wear, but for as old as it is, Tiki Barber XL, y'all, it was three bucks. It's a freaking NFL brand. I mean, that was a no-brainer. Tiki Barber NFL jersey XL, three dollars. Y'all saw my uh, tag in there. What else did I get? Oh, Gina's dishware. That dishware we showed y'all in there. Oh, did I break it? Y'all, that dishware that Gina found is probably worth at least 150 bucks, probably, yeah. um, in, in auction prices. So, hey, that's all we had in this story. Storage. Hey, man, calm down. You don't even know what you're saying. <laughs> um, that's it for this thrift store. We're heading to the next thrift store. Then we're going to, no, I think Chuck E. Cheese comes first. Okay. I think it's the first exit after you go by 121. Okay. Off 35. Y'all, we're going to go dumpster dot Chuck E. Cheese and hit up one more thrift store. Then we're going to go to the unit, do unboxing. Don't forget, we got that huge safe cabinet thing that has two big bulky locks on it that I'm about to destroy. Thing. Well, there. I mean, there only. Uh, it might only be a few of them. It might not be the whole company, but I'm still gonna try it. I'm. I'm still gonna. I feel bolder. <laughs> we are in a U-Haul. We're not. Not very discreet right not very now. Discreet. All right. Let's see what's over here. Where's their dumpster? It's right there. No, that says super sub. Wait, is this theirs back here now? Where's their dumpster? It's right here. Oh shoot. Are there, is there two? Recyclable only. Oh, okay. So you think they share with them? I don't know. Here, let's go straight. Straight. It's got to be over here. Okay, we're going to swing this way. You're going to turn around that way. I can hop out. I'll go around that way. Yeah. Point. It won't look suspicious at all. <laughs> <laughs> we don't look suspicious at all. <laughs> I told you, look, I'm not filming tomorrow. We're filming everything. Hey, we're going to, in fact, I want to hit that strip center right there in the U-Haul. <laughs> We need to All buy right. our oh, own oh, box oh. truck. Switching off the camera. We need to buy our own box truck and put ground Shh. signs on it. And then you could actually God, like... quiet. Pull up a little bit more. Shh. You see anybody? All right, I'm going. Vintage. 
It's a Guggen Squad shirt. Three bucks. Hey, there's a Guggen Squad shirt. Did you find those? I didn't find the exact one sold, but the regular Funko Pop sold for about four bucks. Yeah, so they're asking four nine. That's retail. All right, guys. I'm a sucker for Disney stuff. Oh, this is actually a Walt Disney product. How much is he? Uh, seven bucks. Hey guys, we're sitting at the longest freaking light in America. Uh, we've been through it eight and a half times so far. So I figured I'd just go ahead and show you what we just got at the store. Alright guys, so we didn't know that their t-shirts... Oh, really? That's figures. Alright, was a dollar day, y'all. If I would have known that, I would look through all the t-shirts. But they were kind of high priced, so I didn't. But look, first one, 99 cents. I have issues. That's so true, but we're moving now. I gotta stop. Hey guys, we're under a bridge. That's why it's dark. Uh, and that light just turned yellow. Dang, woman. I hardly hit the bridge. No, you don't. You like to... Anybody else's uh, significant other like to uh, um, really give the brakes on their vehicles like a good test, you know, a good testing every day? Y'all, check this out. Uh, so it was 99 cent day. These t-shirts were $2.99 a piece. They're brand new. So are we focused? Are we focused? It's red. But y'all look, it's Chuck Norris shirts. Yeah, boy, read it. The Cobra died or something. But y'all look, I got a whole stack of, oh, that's a whole stack, that's two. I got a whole stack of them. I think we got five of them for a dollar piece. So I got all of those for five bucks. I guarantee you that those will sell for at least 15, $20 a piece. And the only other thing that we got in there she was $6.99. It's gonna sell for about 20 bucks. I'm gonna be honest, she's a mean person. Alright guys, we're pulling up to the unit. Let's see, it is 102. Let's see how fast we can knock this out. Alright. Alright guys, so you have the key dear? Yeah. Okay, oh thank god. Alright, 825 guys. Look, we don't have much of a truck. I'm curious how. Oh, Oh, look, I can tell. Holy crap. All right, Jamie's going to get this situated. My, it's my turn. Okay. All right, so. Okay. All right, so we got to get everything out of here. Y'all think we can do this in less than an hour? You think we can? I think we can. All right, less than an hour. Let's go. All right, guys, so check it out. We are about done. Um, y'all, that's all full of bullets. I still gotta bust that thing open, but basically we got a suite now. Uh, these are all empty boxes. There's the Yeti. I do have some stuff I need to unbox with y'all when we get back to the house, but I'm not gonna do it here because look, it's almost all in there, huh? Y'all, look, so pumped about that, y'all. Oh, look, there's the douche. Oh, uh, where is it? Nasal douche. Hey y'all, real quick, I do want to show y'all this painting or this piece of art and I want y'all to look this up for me. This is a different one, but I think this right here might be worth a few grand easy. Alright guys, check it out. Um, let me show you this piece of art real quick. Definitely got to get this bad boy home. Y'all, tell me what you think this thing's worth. Actually, I don't know if I want to take it all the way out of here. Yeah, we might want to wait till we get home. Okay, let's show them real quick. Okay. Y'all, I think I saw some of this dude's pieces and they go for like in the tens of thousands. This dude was famous for like uh, doing stuff for Playboy. Uh, like the company. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, this is look. It says unframed herring between cardboard. Do not cut. Okay, y'all, look. So there is, there's two herrings in here. Um, come over here, dear. Let's show them under here. I don't want to. Here, let me go around the track. Oh, right here. I got it. Look, come here. Okay, check this out. So this is a herring, y'all. Uh, Playboy. So look, it's the red one. Y'all help me look that up. I did a lot of extensive work on the, uh, research on this guy's stuff. Uh, that's sneaking out. So we're gonna open this up, get this back in there. Uh, but y'all look this specific one up. The other one I have, um, the cheapest one I could find they were asking 1800 for. Uh, ours is in really good shape. So is this one. We got two more herrings. So we might have like five or six thousand dollars worth of just uh, herring art. 